Hi there, what's better, short trips or long trips? You should know the answer to that by now. It really depends. Hello, my name is Russ, and on this channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your ratings and earnings on rideshare companies, Uber and Lyft, and also some delivery companies. Why would anyone want to focus on either short trips or long trips? It depends. Usually when I drive, and again, it's part-time, I'm happy when I get an airport ride in the morning because I know that's going to be a lot of money to either LAX or Burbank. And then from there, I would catch other rides. But sometimes that's not always the case. I've been doing an experiment the last week or two and just trying to stay local, obviously using Uber because now with the AB5 law, it's forcing them to treat us like independent contractors. So with that, they're giving us the destination up front, the duration, and the estimated earnings. That way I can make sure I'm only accepting short trips within my area and not accepting any long trips. It's worked out okay. Um, I have made roughly about the same amount of money, and obviously that's not going to be the case for everybody. One thing that um, would be good for taking a bunch of short trips is if you don't want to go far from your area. Another thing would be is if you have something going on later in the day that you already have an appointment and you don't want to stray too far. This is when short trips really are helpful. Short trips give you the chance to earn more in tips, not because anybody's going to tip more, but it's a numbers game. The more rides you give, those individual people may tip you. If you're doing one long trip, yes, you'll make a lot more money, but you're only going to get one tip. I have taken long trips before early on, and then I just plan to set the destination filter to get back, but I have found that generally most of those miles are dead miles, and I may get some rides, but when it averaged out, I highly suspect if you have something to do during the day, um, do a bunch of short trips, that'll work out better for you. Another thing that I have found when I drive during the day, anytime past one o'clock, I do not take any long trips because invariably in this market, I'll get sucked further into LA and then I have a bunch of traffic to come home with. So I don't do that. After one o'clock, I stop all long trips. When I do take some long trips, sometimes from LAX, I'll get a really long trip beyond that, which is great for the money, but then I'm even further away from home. And at some point, even if I've got a bunch of rides at that new location, I still need to come home because of traffic. So I only have an hour or two to play with before I need to set the destination and come back. Now, if you're driving and you have nowhere to be even at night and you can go the full 12 hours, then have fun. Here's another factor that comes into play during the day. What I'll do is in the morning, with morning rush, it'll be busy, and then at lunchtime, I switch over to food delivery in case Uber and Lyft are slow. So that, in a way, gives me an appointment during the day. So given the choice with Uber, I can do a bunch of short trips, guarantee I'm gonna be in the local area where I choose to be for food delivery, and then go from there in the afternoon. Otherwise, if I've taken a long trip in the morning, I need to know what the traffic's going to be like and how much time I need to get back around the same time. Between 11 and 1 is the peak time for food delivery. So this does factor in when I'm contemplating taking short rides or long rides. For California drivers, give this a try. Obviously, you can only do this with Uber because Lyft has not made the same changes as Uber and you can be selective on your short trips. Now, for all other drivers, since if you're not in California, you don't have this option, one thing you could do to sort of try is just not accept any long trips. You know, when they tell you it's 45 minutes or longer, just don't accept those. And then really you're gonna be averaging and hoping that they're short to medium range trips. That's really all that's in your control for now until Uber and Lyft roll these features out to all drivers across the company. To recap, for short trips, if you take more trips, there is a chance to get more tips. It is easier to be on time for other appointments during the day. 
I do pause during lunchtime to do food deliveries. You do tend to have less dead miles, and unfortunately right now only Uber Pro Blue Rewards does not get to see the trip destination up front. For long trips, they're best before halfway through your shift. And when you get these lump sums, it quickly helps you meet that day's financial goals. And at the end of the day, there is more potential for dead miles coming home. Please give me feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Short trips or long trips, how do you manage? Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and did you know that on my website, russride.com, I do give you other customer service tips and tips on how to improve your earnings. So be sure to check it out.